Hello. I always find people's reaction to me, people's perception to me, quite amusing. We're all so busy trying to fit in, aren't we, all the time, hiding who we really are. But here's the thing. Here's a news flash that you already know. We're all going to end up in a pine box or being burnt to ashes. Who knows when we're going to cark it? Why waste your life worrying what people think of you? If people like you or not? I tried that for a long time, worrying about what this one was saying about me, what that one was saying about me. But you know what? I'm 42 years old and I can't be bothered anymore. I want to be free. And when I'm myself, and when I say what I want and I do what I want, it pleases me so much. You've got to have pride in yourself. And personally, I don't want to be a people pleaser anymore. And I think what's happened with me in the past couple of years is that I've moved on with my life. I've, um, I think I've evolved as a person and I'm just happy being me. And I don't care if people don't like me and if people talk about me and if people say this or that. People think because they talk about you and they say this and that, they think they've got one up on you. But they haven't. Because uh, I don't care. I I'm happy to be myself. And what's happened from being myself and letting go of the fear of what people think of me? I've, I feel happy. Mo apart from this and that and situations that other people bring on me, I'm happy with myself. And what's happened? The creative passion, the creativeness inside me has been let out thanks to Facebook, thanks to Twitter, thanks to YouTube. Now I'm writing loads of TV fiction of established TV shows. I'm developing an online soap and talking to well-known people on Twitter and actually getting replies from them. I can't be that bad, can I? I'm not the best. I'm not the worst neither. I don't need to be the best. I don't need people to say, he's a nice bloke. If people want to say I'm an a-hole, let them say it. It's, 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 it's freedom for me. That is freedom. Growing up, I was always told, why can't you be like your brother? Why can't you be like this one? Why can't you be like that one? Because that's not who I am. But going back to this thing of fitting in, it's, it's kind of like, oh... Look at what he's wearing. Look at how he's got his hair. Everyone makes a comment about my hair. It looks crap. Well, to most people it looks crap. But I like it. I love my hair. I love the way I look. No, I don't get women and girls going, Ooh, in your heart, in your stab. Don't I like his ass? Doesn't matter. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Because, yes, it's great for people to think you're good looking. It's people to think this and that. But it doesn't matter. Because I am true to myself. So... That has kind of made um, me kind of be more alone in my life, but there's a freedom to it. Um, I, a couple of years ago, I stopped hanging out with people I've been friends with for 20 years. Now, I personally don't think my life's richer for them not being in my life, and I don't personally think their lives are more richer. They'll tell you a different story. But at first it was like, oh no, why don't they like me? Why don't they want to be my friend? But now I'm comfortable with it, because I'm comfortable with myself. Rather than me pretending to be saying I'm not, trying to, try, trying to make concessions for people that you can't please. There's no point. So instead of that, I'm true to myself. Now, there's a lot of things about myself I still haven't accepted. Um, I would say definitely... I, in terms of girls and women, I have no confidence. That's why I'm single. That's been the case literally all my life. I went to an all-boys school that didn't help, but I was always shy, I wasn't very confident. And the way I grew up didn't help my confidence either without uh, going into it too deeply. And that, that, was, that was a big problem. But I haven't had many girlfriends. And um, it could, at, in the past, it was like, oh, why haven't I had many girlfriends? Why, not, why, not, why haven't I had loads of sex? But now it's like I'm comfortable with that because I know me. I realise who I am. I can't, I can't change who I am. And obviously I'm not willing at the age of 42 to start being someone I'm not so I can have loads of shags. That's life. Why, look, you don't miss what you don't have. So I don't miss the load of sex. 
sex will be great, don't get me wrong. I like sex. But that's what I'm talking about because I haven't really been honest with myself about my sexuality totally yet. And that will come. But you, in, in the end, you can't be afraid of who you really are. Because no matter if you tell the world or you keep it a secret, you still are what you are. And instead of being scared of people, what they're going to think, what they're going to say, if people dish you for what you are, what you truly are, where it's family who profess to love you, girlfriends, wives, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, if they can't accept you for who you are, they're not worth squat. I've, I've had my heart broken before, I have. And I went through it many years where I was angry about it and felt betrayed. And I was trying to put the pieces together why that happened. But now I'm so cool with that, with having my heart broken and being rejected in my life. That's fine because I am me. So instead of, again, trying to fit in, trying to pretend you're saying you're not, I'm just being myself and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with, with, with my life. I want more from my life. I want my creative side to come out. I want to be successful on TV and film. Um, I'm 42 years old, but it's not too late for me. Because I don't think age is a restriction. There's so many ageist people out there going, Oh, you're old, you're old, you're old. I don't care. Everyone's obsessed with labels, aren't they? Labels. He's old, she's young. Uh, the perception, the culture is now, if you're young, you're cool, you're brilliant. If you're old, you might as well just put a bullet in your head. Now, I don't think I'm old, I don't think I'm young. I'm just, I don't care. You can do nothing about the ageing process, can you? If someone can, please let me know because it's, it's, I'll take some pills and then I can be young forever and I can live forever. I would love to live forever. I like life. I think life is great. Even the shit part of life is great for me because after a while, I don't let, I'm not someone who sits there being depressed. I just shrug my shoulders and I move on. If something or someone disappoints me, in the end, I'm over it. I'm, I'm very robust in, in that aspect. I'm, I'm, because of my experience in life, because I'm quite lucky in a sense, because when I was 18 years old, I moved out from my family. I met a girl and I moved in with her family. Now, that family was so important to me because it showed me another way of living rather than the Greek Cypriot, this is, this is the rule, that's the rule, you've got to do this, you've got to marry a Greek Cypriot girl, you, you've got to be, if, if you're gay, that's wrong, if you're this, you're wrong, you know. But rather that, meeting like a typical English family, Seeing how they lived was great for me and I learned so much. And those uh, 18 months for me were so wonderful because it made me different. Because I learned so much from that experience, it made me different to my brothers and sisters and to my family. So I came out of that, oh, this, you've got to be traditional, you've got to be this. I was always told growing up, you've got to get married, you've got to have kids. Why? Because that's what everyone does. Oh, so because every, that's what everyone does, I have to do that? No, kill me now. It's about being free, isn't it? I don't perceive, I don't know anyone in the living world that I would be willing to sacrifice my, what I call my freedom. I, I believe in love. I believe in all that. I, I believe I'm still going to meet someone special. But even if I do, I'm still going to be an individual. Um, I don't want to be that. I think I was watching Hollyoaks the other day and Esther goes, oh, you're going to be with the same person for the rest of your life. Isn't that amazing? Nothing scares me more than that. Because you are in love, because you, you, you like someone, that you have to sacrifice your freedom. I don't think that you do, but they're the rules, aren't they? And we must obey the rules, or everyone will pillage us and throw stones on us, and it's... I feel free for the first time in my life, and it's brilliant, and I've got plans for the future. I want to move on with my life, and I'm happy. And what it is with me... I never say never. Um, people that I used to know, it's not goodbye. If those people ever want to contact me, they can. But it's up to them now. And it's not a sadness for me. Before it was really sad for me to, to move on from people and things like that. You know, why don't they like me? Why don't they want to be my friend? As I've already said. Well, now it's like, you know what? That's, that's all happened for a reason. I'm here. People know where I am. And there's nothing more I can do about that than that. Thanks for watching the video. I feel awesome. See you later. Bye-bye.